Hey, what's up, gang? Um, today, I want to do a quick flashlight video, okay? I just want to show you guys what kind of flashlights you should have in your home. I don't want you guys to have cheap flashlights and be in the dark, stumbling around, stubbing your toes if the lights go out. Um, I want you guys to be prepared, okay, for any kind of situation. I've got flashlights, three flashlights right here that I want to show you guys, and they all work good for different situations, okay? All right, so the first flashlight I want to show you is the Farpoint thousand lumens flashlight is super lightweight no batteries it's rechargeable let me show you how it charges okay you just twist this top and then do you see the usb bam right there little usb this thing is bright it comes with high beam low beam then it's got that sos flash right there it's amazing it's even got a little clip so you can put it on your shirt right there and it's just a good lightweight flashlight. And it's like two times better than those big ones that you see, but this is a little one, you know what I mean? The only like advantage I could see to those big police flashlights is that they double as a weapon, but we're not using flashlights as weapons on this channel, okay? We're gonna use weapons as weapons. All right, the second that I wanna show you It's the emergency, the multifunctional digital emergency crank radio, okay? All right, the cool thing about this, let me take it out for you. Okay, this is a crank radio, right? It's got a crank on the back, so you don't even really need batteries for this. In a real emergency situation, you don't need batteries. You could just crank it up and get some juice like this. All right, then you got your power button right here. See, and then that's on. Then you got, it's a radio. I don't wanna play any music because I don't wanna get my channel banned or anything. It's got an alarm on it. Um, It's got the SOS. It's got a SOS. It's got a can opener on the back. See that? And of course, it's got the radio, it's got solar panels. Um, you can charge this with a USB and you can even put batteries in here, you guys, you see that? This is under $20 on Amazon. It's the multifunctional emergency crank radio. Just look for it, it looks just like this. Everybody should have one of these or something like this, you guys. This is like really important. You definitely wanna have one of these, okay? Multifunctional as hell. <laughs> Okay. All right. So the third one I want to show you, you might not be into this type of thing. You might be into this type of thing, but I got this on Amazon too, but this wasn't under $20. This was actually $35. And it's a lot like the first one I showed you. It's basically the same thing kind of, but this is actually a shotgun flashlight. Um, This is the high power thousand lumens flashlight camping cycling emergency use. It's actually built for a firearm, you guys, but they don't say that on Amazon. You know, they try to keep it family friendly, but it's built for a firearm. It comes with this little switch, so you can hit the switch from far away. See, it's on a cord, and you can attach this to your firearm. Um, comes with these brackets that you use, you know, to connect it to your firearm. These are really, like, really heavy-duty um metal it's not any cheap plastic or anything cheap like that everything is metal the flashlights are metal the brackets are metal you know it's got it takes these little allen allen wrenches to tighten it up it comes with the allen wrench here's the allen wrench right here and then the cool thing about this you guys that i really like it takes a battery but it's a rechargeable battery you guys i haven't even seen rechargeable batteries in a long time but it comes with this big battery and this is a rechargeable battery. And it even comes with this little charging station. So you can just plug this up and charge it, keep it charged, you know, it's amazing. And if you don't want to use the switch, you can even, hold on, let me put this down. You can take this switch off and it comes with a regular little back piece so it can just turn into a regular flashlight you know it, however you want to use it if you want to use it for your firearm or you want to use it 
well, it's actually not, not a firearm. It's really for a shotgun, okay? So if you want to use it for your weapon or you want to use it as a regular flashlight, it's up to you. But this was only like 35 bucks. It's really heavy duty. It's not cheap at all. Um, I mean, the quality, when I say it's not cheap, the price is pretty cheap to me. But the quality is really good, you guys. I really like this light a lot. It's a thousand lumens, just like the first one, really bright. Um, and yeah, it attaches to it attaches to your weapon. Comes with the charger, thirty five bucks. So those are just a couple of the flashlights that um, that I use. Well, um, it's basically all you need. You know, you only need a couple of flashlights. You just want to be sure that you can recharge them. That's the thing. You want to be sure that you don't have to put you know cheap batteries in them that are gonna die in two or three days. You wanna have something that you maybe you can plug into your power generator or something like that. Maybe my next video will be on my power generator. My power generator is uh, Paxess 500. That's what I'm using right now. Um, when I move into a bigger place, I plan on getting a gas generator. But right now, living in the city, this uh, urban prepping, I'm using uh, a, a solar power generator and it came with solar panels and everything. I'll do a video on that pretty soon. But um, thanks for watching my flashlight video. I'm the Lanky Prepper and peace.